to travel now. You've got one more day to get in the draw to win an amazing holiday prize package thanks to Hawaiian Airlines. Now, entries close tonight. More on how to enter our US holiday giveaway in just a moment. First, though, Debbie's been to Oregon again and again, it seems, to road test the trip for you. Take a look. Watching the sun rise from the top of a 7,000-year-old volcano is something rather special. You're standing on Lava Butte, and as far as you can see is Newberry National Volcanic Monument. Behind me here is uh, Lava Butte Cinder Cone, um, which is part of the active volcano system that you have here at Newberry. The black lava rock spreads for kilometers and is 100 feet deep in some places. Kind of what you see here are um, the cinder or the scoria that were ejected violently in the initial phases of the eruption. 7,000 years uh, in this climate just simply isn't enough time for the rock to weather to form soil. Um, and that accounts for the relative lack of vegetation that you see on the lava flow. From above the lava field to inside, we're heading underground. We're going to go check out um, really one of my favorite caves around here, Skeleton Cave. Skeleton Cave is uh, recently now thought to be about 80,000 years of age. It, uh, it was formed from a lava flow that came off of the, the Newberry volcanic system. So much like the, the lovely cinder cone lava butte you guys are standing on this morning, which is part of the Newberry system, another cinder cone um, a little off to the south of us spit out a bunch of lava 80,000 years ago that uh, was pretty low in viscosity, meaning it could flow ever so easily. And uh, that, that flow, that river of lava extending away from the volcano started to cool down and form a, a rock shell, a, a rock skin around itself. Um, and once that happened, you still had internal conduits of lava flowing through that rock, keeping it hot and uh, almost uh, insulating it from the outside air once that rock formed around it. And then just simply one day the volcano stopped erupting and the last remnants of lava would have whisked out of that conduit, leaving behind the hollow void that we're gonna go explore today. The town of Bend is known as the recreation destination, and today we're getting out on the water. The, the, the Deschutes is about 252 miles long, and it runs from essentially Wickiup Reservoir all due north, which is unusual. Yeah. Essentially due north and drains out into the Columbia River. <laughs> you got wet on that one. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of waterfalls in this section of the river, specifically up here, and they're all created by these lava flows, which is super unique. So we just ran a, a fairly continuous section of Class 3 whitewater, almost three plus at higher water levels, so this, the, the, the water volume is all regulated by a dam upstream. Chris has been guiding on this river for 27 years. Every crew is different, um, everybody's having a good time, it's total fun, it's total adrenaline, it's total excitement. The state's water is a key ingredient in Central Oregon's award-winning whiskey, as well as locally sourced organic grains. One whiskey is great and another is great, but they're not the same. Why aren't they the same, right? Isn't that beautiful? And that's what really led me to it, is really trying to discover what made those subtle differences in flavor profile. And then through that, I learned that Oregon, this part of the United States, has, uh, has those resources. I, I have access to all those resources, which is great grain and great water and people with passion for making spirit. And those are your three ingredients. We're staying at what was once an old Catholic school. Its courtyard is a gathering place for locals and visitors. We've just got time to drive out to Fort Rock, a prehistoric volcano that was once surrounded by water. The sun sets over central Oregon for a truly magical end to our tour. Oh wow, how good does that look? So amazing. And one of our viewers is going to get to explore Oregon thanks to Hawaiian Airlines. Go to our website, thecafe.co.nz, to enter the draw to win return flights for two to the US to join an intrepid travel Oregon discovery tour. We are going to announce the lucky winner next week.
Now, our travel team enjoyed that real aloha spirit with Hawaiian Airlines. Hawaiian Airlines make it really easy to island hop or to continue on to the US mainland. You could even fly into one of and out of another for a tri-destination US holiday. Go to hawaiianairlines.co.nz to book your flights.